Welcome, my dear friends. Today we have a special episode. The 20 most expensive paintings in the world on the website Wealthy, Gar Wealthy Gorilla. Let's see what are the most expensive artworks. Why they are so expensive? I'm sure most of them are going to be just some kind of bullshit. I mean, we all have seen expensive artworks and so on. Who would pay even $10 for that? Seriously. The list starts on 110.5 million. If you're not a billionaire, then please don't watch this video. Untitled Jean Michel Basque. What? 110.5 million. That's the cheapest item on the list. I have kind of mixed feelings. I mean, it's not too bad. It looks interesting. But the fact that it's 110.5 million make it really, really horrible. The sale made Untitled the highest price ever paid for a piece of art created after 1980. It was purchased by Japanese billionaire. So here is it. And probably that's the guy who purchased it. I'm not sure. Next one is Recycling Nude with Blue Cushion. Amedeo Modigliani. 118 million. Why can't you just just use Pornhub. Pornhub premium costs much cheaper than this artwork. So it's made in 1917. Okay, that explains a lot. Probably at that time there was no porn, so people would just get these artworks. Modigliani is also known for his interesting character and behavior. He would often swap or trade his paintings for alcohol, food or drugs. Well, that explains why this is so expensive, because usually people are more interested in the artist itself than in the artwork. So because he was an alcoholic who drew, everyone was like, <gasps> This is amazing! It was purchased by Russian billionaire. Imagine you bring a girlfriend to a house and the first thing she sees are just some nude paintings on your wall. She would just run away immediately. Okay, the famous The Scream. Edward Munch, 190 million. Okay, this, um, you know, it's kind of famous painting, so it could be sold at an expensive price, but again, 190 million is too much. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer, 1, 135 million. First of all, we have to go and see who is this woman. Just a wife of some businessman, if I'm not wrong. The painting was stolen by the Nazis in 1941. Okay, maybe that's why it's so expensive. By the way, did you know that the reason why Mona Lisa is so famous because it was stolen two or three times? If you drew something and you want to make it expensive and famous, pay someone to steal it. I can do it for you. Another painting purchased by Russian billionaire. The only reason they buy this painting is that they can invite guests to their house and be like, Ooh, you see, I bought this for 130 millions. Woman tree. William de Koenig, 137 millions. It was held in Tehran, Iran, but it was considered to be too offensive. They took it down. Jackson Pollock. You know what this reminds me of? When I get hot dog and then I use ketchup, mustard and any sauce I have on, my, on the sausage. So it's really, really tasty. I actually got hungry looking at this. It was sold to a non buyer in 2006. Well, I know who it was some Russian billionaire. But it was actually not the original piece. Imagine you spend 140 million and then you realize that it's a fake. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's bad, it actually looks, looks interesting. But 140 million? Three studies of Lucian Freud. Francis Bacon. 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 Okay, now I really got hungry. So this guy just painted his friend. Hello, Miguel. You wanna get a painting? Yeah. We can sell it later for a bunch of money. But most likely we will not be alive at that time. Portrait of Adele Blockbauer 2. Wait, wait, didn't we see that somewhere? Portrait of Adele Blockbauer 1. Okay, so it's the same guy Gustav Klimt. So he painted twice the same woman. What's going on with this woman and this portrait? How come these are so expensive? Here is a business plan. We build a time machine, we go to the past, we find this woman, we make hundreds of paintings of her, and then we go back to the future and become billionaires. <laughs> Unfortunately, both paintings were stolen by the Nazis during World War II. But whenever Nazis steal anything, it becomes famous. Lever Pablo Picasso. I have seen this somewhere also. So this is art of Marie Therese Walter who was Picasso's mistress. Are they talking about 50 shades of grey? So basically a lover. So he was cheating. Cheating bastard. Next one is Nu Couché. I think Couché is like the sofa in French. I'm not sure. Amedea Modigliani. Wait, again? Another nude woman? Okay, it was bought by another Ch Chinese billionaire. Chinese and Russians. Why do you need this stuff? Seriously. Please, if you wanna buy an artwork, just go to me, okay? You see this one? I make you a discount. But let's say just 10 million, okay? You see? It's nothing, right? Masterpiece, Roy Lichtenstein, 165 million. He drew, he drew comics and sold for 165 million. So now we know where Marvel got all of that money, right? Oh no! Another naked woman! Another new cliche. We already have one new cliche. It's Chinese, again by some Chinese billionaire. Who would have thought, right? He purchased that piece in a single transaction using his American Express card. So he was like 170 million. Oh, sure, no problem. Where's my card? Here. 
Mafia Las Femmes de Alger version 0 Pablo Picasso okay so this painting was also considered to be a tribute to his friend Henry Matisse what was the previous painting that he drew also was a tribute to his friend huh. okay so the first one he drew for his lover the second one he drew for his friend but I feel like he was just taking his family members and hey come here come here yeah you want a painting oh finally someone who is not Chinese or Russian it was purchased by some Arab billionaire minister or prime minister of Qatar is prime minister supposed to have so much money pendant portrait of Martin Solomons and option copied Rembrandt 180 million Oh, so it was painted to celebrate the wedding of Martina and Opian, so they got married. I mean, the paintings look really nice. Of course, these two paintings were never separated. Their love is united forever. Oh no. Oh no. Violet, green and red. 186 millions. Where's my gun? I need to kill myself now. It might not be to everyone's taste. Wow, seriously right number 17a jackson Pollock. again this guy with his mustard ketchup paintings next one nafe fa ipo ipo oh so the title translates when will you marry me so i guess he went to tahiti and he fell in love with the woman there and he was like come on marry me and they were like no and he was like i will draw you a painting and they were like hmm maybe maybe Next one is the card players Paul Cezanne, 250 million. Yeah, it was purchased by the royal family of Qatar. Interchange William de Koenig, 300 million dollars. I feel like the workers who paint walls can do that easily. So he was inspired by his surroundings while he was living in New York. How, how is that? How, how is that in New York? I mean, uh, this is a red light or what? I don't get it. And finally, are you ready? Number one. Painting! The most expensive painting ever! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, Salvador Mundi Leonardo da Vinci, 450 million dollars. Ah, so that's how Leonardo da Vinci sees Jesus Christ. It was created in 1605. Okay, that definitely adds to the price between 1763 and 1900 disappeared. So again, probably Nazis stole it. Oh wait, it was 1763. Hmm, but Nazis didn't exist at that time. Yeah, they definitely built a time machine. We saw here Saudis, we saw here Russians, we saw here Chinese billionaires. Well, here you have it, guys. Do you think my actors will be sold at 400 million at some point? Nope. Yeah, she's probably right. Don't forget about my classes at learnfromfred.com where you can start learning premium photoshop classes and create premium art talks for free